Okay, hi everyone and welcome to another of my video tutorials. In today's video I'm going to show you how to go forth and multiply. If you've ever seen a photo like this and wondered how the person was able to duplicate themselves into one photo, then this is what I'm going to show you. It's a relatively simple photography trick. In the days of film we would essentially just uh, make multiple exposures onto one frame but of course with digital we can't do that so uh, we have to take multiple exposures and blend them in uh, some editing software typically Adobe Photoshop so uh, as I say it's a relatively simple trick I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop, you can. if you have Adobe Lightroom, you can very likely do the same thing there or maybe in some other editing software. Okay, so how do we do it? We have to take multiple exposures. So multiple photos of the same scene, but put yourself, putting yourself in a different position each time. So here we have it. In each picture I ran into a different position. Now when you do this in the field obviously you need to get the photos first and when you do this in the field it's very very important that you can't do it without a tripod. You must have a tripod, you must have your camera set up fixed nice and tight on a tripod and have your composition set. So set up your composition first, think about your uh, composition, think about where you want to be in the composition and, and in each place. Then you want to think about your focal point. So in this case, I was going to be standing next to this monument. So I focused on the monument and then I uh, locked the manual focus on so that focus wouldn't change between frames. I then set up the exposure and set up the shutter speed and aperture. And then I flipped that to full manual and set that. So the, that means that the exposure will not change between frames. That's also very important. And the last thing, the thing that I can't really control and only hope for, is that the light remains consistent between each frame. Between each photo that you take, the light doesn't change. Because if the light changes, then you could have problems when you're trying to blend each image through. So in this case, uh, thankfully, the light didn't change. It was relatively consistent. But you will see that the clouds moved between frames but that's not an issue because I'm not going to blend any of the sky through I'm only going to blend through these areas where I am standing so it's not a problem so in order to get the shot obviously you need to set the camera on timer unless of course you have someone helping you if you have someone helping you that's great uh, but if you're doing it on your own like I was you simply set the camera to a 10 second timer and then you click the shutter and you've got 10 seconds to get yourself out into position. So you simply click, run out there, take the shot, run back, click again, run back out into a different position and just do that multiple times. And so I got multiple shots of myself in each position like this, like this, and then blended them all into one. So how did I blend them? Let me show you. First of all, you go up to File, Scripts, Load Files onto Stack, and then click Browse and navigate to the folder where you have your uh, files already. Now, I already processed these from RAW, and that's the other thing. If you're going to process in RAW, then if you're going to make any adjustments, you need to make sure that you make the same adjustments across all photos, because that way there will not be any differences between them. So select your photos, so select the first one and hold down the shift key, select the last one to select them all, click OK and that will load all the photos into here. You don't need to uh, do this, attempt to automatically align source images. You would only need to do that if you think there was movement between your frames, but uh, the whole point of doing it this way ensures that there is no movement between frames. So make sure that's unchecked. Click OK. And then go up to your layers palette up here on the 
on the right mine is up here on the right Your, yours may be in a different position but you want to have your layers palette open if it's not open just go to windows and come down here select layers to open it but you need to have your layers palette open now it's created a file untitled one and loaded each of my images on top of one another okay so in multiple layers so what we're going to do essentially is brush through the layer underneath each image to reveal myself. Sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? And the way that we do that is first of all to go over here and uh, make sure that you have this set to black and white with black on the top. Select the top layer, go to layer, layer mask and reveal all. Then you want to come over here and select your brush tool. Make sure that the brush size is set nice and big if you're brushing yourself through of course. Then what you can do to find out where you are if you're not quite sure where you are in the in the layer underneath then simply go to opacity pull down the opacity and you can see where you are in the layer underneath. Pull that back and then simply brush the area there where you are and that's it it's that simple the next thing we do is select the two top two layers go right click and merge those two layers because now that's finished and then we repeat the process with the next two layers so select the top layer go to layer layer mask Select the opacity to find out where I am and brush myself through in that one. Select the two, merge those two layers and repeat. Layer, layer mask, reveal all. There I am over there. Job done. Merge. Now I know I'm over here already, so I don't need to bother looking. Just do the same thing each time. images when you're down to your final image you can uh, enlarge just go through to make sure you've blended yourself through fully in each case there are no bits or appendages missing that's it that's it and finally go up to layer, flatten the image and you're ready to save. Give it a name. And save. It's as simple as that. So here's another one I did and uh, I'll show you this one quickly. Same thing scripts load files onto stack browse to those four images load them into layers and away we go there i am at the back layer layer mask reveal all make sure i select my brush tool again sorry that's the wrong one brush tool okay brush myself through there flatten those two layers layer mask reveal all brush myself through there select the two merge the two layers 
mask, reveal all. They're the last one I'm here. Merge the two and go up here. Flatten the image and save. And then, of course, if you want to do any more editing on it, you can do. And it's as simple as that. So, uh, as I said, this is done in Photoshop. You can probably do it in Lightroom, uh, maybe some others. But if you don't have Photoshop, well, you know, Photoshop's no longer the expensive piece of software it used to be. With the Adobe Photographer's plan, you can have it for uh, £10 per month. And as long as you keep paying your subscription for that, you will get Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom and it will be constantly updated for as long as you keep paying the monthly subscription. So if you want to get yourself Photoshop then uh, I'll put a link to the Adobe Photographer's plan down in the description so go check it out. And once again thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, hope you found it useful and uh, if you try this out yourself then please post your image in the comments down below so we can have a look. Thanks again and uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, catch you later.